Hi everyone. In this cycle, we're talking a lot about cell transport, how different substances move across that cell membrane. And you've heard lots of words like diffusion, facilitated diffusion, osmosis. So we wanted to give you a little demo of what that looks like. So as you diffusion is a movement of substances from an area of high concentration and they spread out to an area of low concentration until they reach an equilibrium. So if you've ever used like perfume or room spray, you know that those substances will spread out across the room. Another great visualization of what diffusion looks like is adding food coloring into this beaker of water. So the food coloring is very concentrated in that initial drop, right? And that food coloring, those particles are going to diffuse and spread out to an area where they are less concentrated until equilibrium is reached. So you can see those food uh, coloring particles diffusing through this beaker of water, right? And so we'll let that set for a little while and we'll come back and look at it in a few minutes and we'll see if it's reached equilibrium. A great model of how substances move across a cell membrane is to use an egg, right? So we're all used to regular eggs. They've got that hard shell on it. You can hear my fingernails hitting that hard shell. What you can do is put an egg in vinegar, and the vinegar is an acid, and it will react with the calcium shell of the egg and dissolve, dissolve that hard shell. But if you've ever cracked open an egg before, which I will do for you right here, you'll notice that beneath the hard shell, there is a clear shell called the shell membrane. And you can see that right there, that little white substance. So the vinegar dissolves that hard shell, but it leaves that shell membrane intact. So this kind of feels like a water balloon. If I squeeze it hard, yes, it will pop. But this is, the shell membrane is going to be our model of the cell membrane today. So we're gonna use this egg with its hard shell dissolved, just covered in its shell membrane to serve as a great model of the cell membrane and how substances can move across that cell membrane. How does the shell membrane talk to the hard shell? It uses its shell phone. Oh, wow. That was really bad, Mr. Toda. So today we're gonna to look at the, the diffusion of water. And the diffusion of water is so important, we give it its own term. It's referred to as osmosis. So what we are going to do is put our eggs in three different salt solutions. 0% salt or distilled water, 5% salt, and 20% salt. And how we're gonna know if water has moved into or out of the egg is by weighing it on a balance. We're not gonna be able to look at the egg and see if it's gotten bigger or smaller. So we're gonna weigh it and see if we have a change in mass. So what you should do is pause the video right here and make your three hypotheses about what you think will happen to our eggs in each of the three salt solutions. So I'm gonna start with my first egg. I need to weigh it on my balance. So let that warm up. I'm gonna put my egg on. And there is our first number, our first piece of data you'll have to record. The starting mass for the egg going into 0% salt is 61.1314 grams. Okay, and I'm just gonna gently drop that into my 0%. Get it, grams. <laughs> My next egg here, again, make sure it says zero. So our next piece of data you'll have to record is 62.53 grams, and that is going into our 5% salt solution. And then my last egg, we'll get a mass of that. Got a big one here. That is 67.05 grams, and that will go into our 20% salt solution. And just kind of interesting, when we put my egg into my 20% salt solution, it floats, right? The, uh, the salt 
changes the density of the water and the egg floats. So I am just gonna use this little spoon here to try and keep it submerged as much as possible. So we're gonna let this set for 10 minutes. We're not gonna make you sit here and watch me for 10 minutes. So we'll pause the video, we'll come back in 10 minutes and we'll take the weight of the mass, I should say, of our eggs again and we'll see what happened. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. So first I wanted to take a look at our food coloring in the beaker. You can see that our food coloring particles have evenly diffused throughout our beaker of water. A uh, important thing to note is that everything is still moving in here. It's just an equilibrium. So we've reached a balance between the food coloring particles and the water particles, and we call this equilibrium. All right, let's take a look at what happened to our eggs. So in our 0% salt solution, you made a hypothesis. Our initial weight was 61.14. And it appears that our egg has gained mass. It is now up to 69.19. Great. All right, our next salt solution was 5%. We put our egg in, again, for 10 minutes. Our initial mass was 62.53. And it appears there's not much of a change. We have 62.50. Oh, not much of a change. Little tip. Inside of an egg, it's about 5% salt. All right, and our last egg was in 20% salt solution. Let's see if we have a change there. We started at 67.05, and we are down to 63.68. Okay. So you've got your data table. You're gonna calculate changes in mass, and then see if the data you got from the change in mass support your initial hypotheses.